Yeah. Interview commencing 10 past 10, 14th of July. Here present, Detective Sergeant Scott McCracken, Detective Sergeant Pauline Mason and Mr William Black. William, can I call you William? Yes, yes. Do you understand why you've been brought here today? Uh, yes, I've been told, yes. Right, and you've been read your rights already, haven't you? Yes. You're quite happy with that? Yes. And you've wavered your right to a solicitor? Yes. Right, so you're happy to talk to us? Yes. Right. Can you tell us what happened on the 30th of December? As far as I remember, I went to a, a pub. Um, I went uh, for a drink at the Enfield. So you had a drink in the Enfield? Yeah. Who did you meet in the Enfield? Yeah, I met this guy called Stephen in the Enfield. Would that be Stephen Dean? Yeah, yeah, Steve Dean. Right, carry on, tell us what happened. I just had a drink with him and, uh, uh, as far as I know, he went home and I was just in the pub. You went home? Well, I had a bit of a laugh and then he went home. You had a bit of a laugh and he went, he went home. Did he get a taxi? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Can you explain then how we found Stephen Dean's body in your apartment with your DNA all over it and I'm not talking about saliva? Oh, well, oh, um, well I, I suppose uh, I must confess I did take him home. You did? Yeah. So you're lying to me then, aren't you? Yeah. So do you want to start again and tell us what really happened to Stephen Dean? Uh, well, I, I took him to my um, house and I had some alcohol for some... Um, beer in my house and uh, okay. we, we got drunk. Just beer? Yeah, just beer, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. That could, be, uh, could account for the DNA on his body and everything. What, the DNA, that you had some beer and that account for the DNA on his body? Did yeah. you have sex with him, William? Uh, I'm gay, so you know, I don't know what to talk about. Well, unfortunately, the crime is rather serious. You're going to have to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so would you like to tell us what happened then? We got um, uh, really drunk and uh, um, we finally went to bed. Right, so did you have sex with Stephen Dean? Yeah. And then in the morning you wake up and Stephen's dead. Uh, I suppose uh, I'd better confess, uh, yeah. I, I go into these, uh, um, like, uh, like a trance. Trances? Yeah, and, uh, and, and I go into rage. Um, uh, I get really scared in case he's going to leave me next morning. And so uh, I, I woke up and um, I saw a necktie lying amongst the uh, clothes. And I picked up a neck necktie and... Uh, I put it around his neck and wait. I strangled the necktie actually and um, and tightened. And, and he struggled and he kicked away from the wall. He, he don't know the uh, the feeling uh, of uh, power when I'm out of. You don't seem to me to be a very strong guy. So you tell me how you strangled somebody. I just. Is that, isn't this rage? I, I just, I just find the extra strength when I'm in this murderous trance. Go on, we better, we better watch out for this one, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. And he, um, he was unconscious. I noticed he, um, he wasn't quite dead yet, so I, um, I thought I'd better go through with it. And so I hurried in the bathroom and uh, got this pail of water and uh, I put him on a chair uh, and I pushed his head in the water. And I saw the bubbles come out of his mouth. And uh, then I, I took him to the bath and, um, and washed his body. Um, and he, he's, he had a beautiful, uh, beautiful body. I put some clean underclothes on him, some clean clothes on, and put him on my bed. And uh, I had this uh, talk with him. And he just looked so beautiful on the bed. This is very, very serious, William. We're talking about a dead person here. Yeah. How many other men have you picked up in pubs? Yeah. Do we need to be looking for more bodies? No, 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 no. Um, no? That's the only one. Stephen Dean's the only person that's ever attempted to leave you and you've killed him. Um, Come on, William. You might as well admit it. 
I suppose I'd better confess you and if I've murdered one, uh, I might as well tell you about the rest of them. So, you're admitting to us that you've killed more than one? Yeah. yeah. How many? Uh, I think it might be about 14 or 15, I'm not sure. How many? 14 or 15, I think. 15? 15, 15 bodies? All together. Did you meet them in the Enfield? Well, Come on, well, tell well, me. Well, they're acquaintances of mine. They're acquaintances? So everybody that meets you ends up dead. Well, after this new evidence, we need, to, we need to go away and have another look and have another chat. So we'll be back in touch with you because you're going to be here for a damn long time. Interview suspended, 10.05.